There's a reason for the magnet. Hey guys, we're over here at uh, Golden Customs over in Pine Island, New York, doing some spark plugs on the um, G70. Now, I know everyone says it's really tricky to do, especially on this side, you have to remove this. I'm sorry for these antique, antique tools, are a little bit of uh, a hiccup here, but we got this uh, intake manifold. So you have to take the intake manifold off. And then we're over here with Justin from Golden Customs. That's Eddie back there playing with the cat. Now the trick to this is you get Justin here with his fancy tools and you get some of these swivels right here. You pop off the rear coil pack, leave it out, and then it gives you some room to get to the center coil pack. Once you get that center coil pack pulled out from behind, now you can reach right in through here with your swivel tool to pull that spark plug off. We'll show you. Got to have some skinny hands over there. Mm -hmm. He's got a, a homemade uh, band-aid on his thumb because he sliced it <laughs> on the other side. There you go, cracked it right open. We got these plugs from uh, Burger, tu uh, Burger Tuning, Burger Motorsports, along with the magnetic um, spark plug uh, socket. <laughs> guys blowing air horns behind us. <laughs> Scared the out of me. You almost dented your head with my head. Yeah. <laughs> my pants. There's a cat running around here that's probably scared to right now, too. <laughs> yeah, he's hiding. He's pretty good with the noise. So, so what we're doing right now, there we go. Spark plug's out. Here's the spark plug. has about 500 miles on it. That's going in the trash. We got the new, we got the new spark plugs over here. The Denzos. Gap 2... 0.022 used a nice uh, Burger Motorsport spark plug gapping uh, thing over there. We're going to install the JB4 as well. Comes with a nice filler gauge. Back to putting the plug in. Some skinny hands maneuvering down there. I'm gonna try to screw it in without uh, stripping out the head. Proper torquing. This guy's a professional. He's got he's got torque wrenches built into his hands. We don't need no torque wrenches here. <laughs> Experience. There we go. It's in there. Let's snug it up. Is this the last plug, or we got one more? Yeah, two more. Two more. Get the center one done first on this side. Center one's done. Done. A little tight. All right. That's it. It's all done. That's the hardest one. The other ones you can get in there, you no problem, right? Yeah. So we're gonna show them, and then, and then you snake that coil pack right through the back again. This is the tricky part. Let's get it started. Let's see if you can see in there. Okay, a little tight. Some, some hands in there. Good. A little tight, but it's doable. Saves you some time. It's pulling the intake off. You gotta pull the intake off. I think you have to disconnect all this stuff, all those wires, bolts, and hoses. That's it. Back in. That's it. Back in. Done. And that's it. That's it. Easy way to get in there without having to remove your intake manifold. Hope this helped you guys. Golden Customs, New York. Is the website here?
GoldenCustomsNY.com. What was that? GoldenCustomsNY.com. Look at this. Look at this, some of this nice stuff over here. Got some work going down in the shop. A lot of jobs going on. Some top secret stuff over here to the left that you can't see. There's a little bit of what gets done over here at Golden Customs. Eddie's over here fixing an air ride that somebody else did, but he's over here fixing it, making it better. Making it work properly. And I'll be back to Justin over here with the spark plug install. After these plugs are done, I'm going to install this JB4. I got this from uh, Burger Tuning. Burger Motorsports. Making me hungry. <laughs> Overall, this spark plug job took about what? Total, an hour. You're less than, less, an, less than an hour. Less, less than an hour. We had some farting around, some uh, how to cool the engine down. Yeah, we would have seen that. You know, tried that right away. Yeah, after We sat around looking at the uh, at the intake for a while, trying to scratch in our heads, trying to <laughs> find an easier way. And we got it. We do. Off. You want to start with the center one, then the back one, since you already have that coil out. Yep. And do the front one. So that job's just about done. We got a little project over here can't show you that but it will be fully documented it's a project for it's a project for SEMA hopefully this year if it happens it was supposed to be this year but they canceled SEMA so we had other with the COVID stuff we kind of had to go a different route with business and everything but, but this will be the project here yes, and Golden Customs will document it and keep you guys updated back to the G70 and Justin over there, tightening up that back one. Then the front one, and that's it. All right, maybe we'll take some videos of the JB4 after. We'll load that up in a separate video. But for now, I think that's enough. If you guys get the point. This coil pack, back coil pack gets popped off. Then this, this center one gets popped off, pulled through the back over here. Stick your uh, extension, swivel, and spark plug wrench right in there and pop that one right out. Good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you found it helpful. And check out Golden Customs. What's that site again? GoldenCustomsNY.com. Go GoldenCustomsNY.com.